Let's worm. I make sure I don't hit a lot of structures going in. I seat it in place. Make sure the handle is beneath the nose, and then I tell the patient raise your tongue. If I turn it left, I head. And then I begin loading. Okay, I begin loading vertically. Okay, has it in the hand I attack? خلاص. Manato and I. The metal has reached the sulcus. If it's hit, it's hurting while I'm pressing. That means the metal is pressing inside the sulcus. Maybe I squeezed too much. Now, I, once I'm inside, I begin border molding. So, seating has three steps. First of all, going inside the patient's mouth, inserting it in the patient's mouth. Then, raising the tissue and around, which taking the lip out and the tongue out, so they will not get a trap underneath the impression. And third is the vertical press. The final is the border molding. I do it while the material is still warm. Elsanak lo adam, yamin shmal, ekhi ek bekuwer ek. Yeah. The material had cooled down. I'm waiting it for it to cool down. Now, some of you had prob problems with gaggers. Patient is gagging while they're taking the impression. You can come in and out multiple times or make the patient. Okay. So, if I'm going to look at the sulcus, I've taken it all. The lingual pouch here, it did not take it, although this is the largest size of the tray because the patient has. Um, a large ridge, and this is the largest size of trays we have. So how am I going to solve it? So let's look first at the buccal sulcus all around. It's continuous and uniform. The lingual sulcus is short, okay? How am I going to solve this? I bring some more material, and I build it as if I'm doing border molding. Okay, stop it.